Hi everyone! Welcome to the video How to Log a Simple API Bug or Our First API Defect Report. Let's begin. In our previous video, we got the response code 404 not found, and the body is the same. We need to compare this to our requirements. Let's check our expected result first. We had two images in the story, one for the request and another for the response. The response image is our expected result. And we can see that we expected to see this. The response code should be 200. And there should be a cat in the response body. Let's check Postman one more time. And we can see that the actual result is totally different. We got a 404 response code and the same in the response body. I'm showing this because most of the tutorials of the REST API testing on the internet are happy path. Everything seems to be so easy and clear. But in reality, this is what it looks like. And that is why the video is called The Big Truth About the API Testing or What the API Testing Really Looks Like. Please give me answer to this kind of question. What is the situation called if the actual result differs from the expected one? Yes, it is the definition of the bug, the issue, the defect, the fault. We expected to see the response code 200. Instead, we received 404 not found. We expected to find a cat tom in the response body. Instead, we see some HTML tags and a 404 not found. This looks like a bug. You can't be 100% sure because the documentation is very poor, but we will log it anyway. For a newbie, logging the API bug can be a totally new activity, and you can struggle with this at first. But do not forget, you are an expert. I will leave a simple solution how to log the API bugs on a new project. First of all, the summary is exactly the same as the general bug and should answer three questions. What, where, when. I prefer to start from where. I write the domain name of the service, petstoreswagger.io. After that, I specify the endpoint, slash pet slash two, the path of the URL. Before the endpoint, I specify the method, get. The URL can be the same, but the method can be different. That's all, we have answered the first question. Where? the location of the issue. Let's move to the next question. The question is what? And we specify only the response code here. The response body is also invalid. And we could add it to the summary as well. But in our case, the response body is invalid because the response code is invalid. So I specify just that we receive the 404 not found response code. Let's move to the next question. When? Under what conditions does this happen? I just specified that there are no specific conditions. All that we do, we send a valid request. At least we think it is valid. That's all. That's all. Summary has enough details. We answered three questions. Where, what and when. There is one question we haven't answered yet. It sounds like this. Oh, deep thought. I wanted to tell me the answer. The answer to life, the universe, everything. It is a complex question and we will leave it for later. Let's move to the bug description for now. And the first item in the description is steps to reproduce. In the first step, we need to share the request we sent. And I added the CURL there. In a previous video, when we talked about the Postman tool, we started with the import export feature. And this is the reason why we have the simplest request ever, only two items, the request method and the URL, and we need to share this data in the ticket. How we will do this? You can write something like this, provide the request method and the request URL, but this looks horrible, and you are the expert. The expert doesn't do it. More important is that requests can have much more data, headers, parameters, authorization. Like this example, we have six additional headers. How you will share the data? Write each header in the separate line. No, the expert won't do it. 
we are going to click on the code button instead, and the postman will generate a CURL for you. The CURL will include all the request data, and you will be able to share everything in an easy manner and without any mistakes. And developers will be able to reproduce the issue on their site. So we copy the generated CURL and paste it into the first step. Now we are sure that developer will send exactly what we sent. Let's move to the next section, the result. And in these two sections, I was even lazier than in the previous. I will leave the response codes and will add the screenshots to the actual result. 404 not found response and the postman screenshot to the expected result, 200 OK response, and the image from the story. For this kind of project, this should work. That's all, we have finished with the defect report. We can check if the manager provided the Swagger URL already. But the manager didn't respond to your comment, you don't have the Swagger URL, and you have no other choice than to leave another comment. That your testing is blocked with the defect. We have done two things already, left a common for the manager and asked to provide the Swagger URL and logged the bug. What next? Waiting for the common from Dab or manager for hours, coffee? Yes, coffee. You drink a cup of delicious coffee. What's next? We have two main options. We can sit and wait for the answers to our ticket or try to investigate more what we have and we will do it in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like coffee or a coffee shop, leave a thumbs up, if not thumbs down. See you in the next video.